Staying with unfortunate news, rescue operations are still underway in Tasia, Nairobi, after the collapse of a residential building yesterday. By this evening, the death toll stood at five people and 26 other people are unaccounted for. However, residents say they do not feel safe around other buildings in the area and that their disadvantaged economic status is what keeps them there. This comes as friends and family of the persons still missing remain apprehensive about the whereabouts of their loved ones. KT News' Timothy Ocheno spoke to those desperately praying for their safety of their kin. Shem Mbiji is a worried man. He had to cut short a trip to travel back to Nairobi to search for two of his cousins who are believed to still be trapped underneath the rubble. His calls have gone unanswered since Friday mid-morning and Shem is now becoming frustrated with the painstakingly slow pace the rescue operation has taken. We have not uh, rescued in the... In the a rescue system or, or even a recovery of the bodies, uh, we are still hopeful. We cannot lose hope until we reach uh, the bottom of the building. Those remarks will do little to comfort the family and friends of 26 people who are still unaccounted for, even as the rescue efforts entered the third day. No person had been retrieved from the collapsed building by Saturday evening marking more than 10 hours since the Kenya Defense Forces Disaster Response Unit made any meaningful headway in the operation. Authorities remain tight-lipped on information concerning the owner of the said structure, even as the death toll from the tragedy increases to five. Timothy